Hey guys, it's me again for day 19 of the 30 day Facebook live challenge. I'm at another paint party tonight. Uh, here at Polly's Pizza. It's an Italian restaurant here in Murray, Kentucky. And everybody has just finished eating supper and they're painting their door hangers. And I'm fixing to paint this really cute turquoise cow. We're going to do a distressing technique on it using this uh, big old cruddy Dollar Tree brush. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I know this is a really bad time to go on Facebook Live because you guys are probably all cooking dinner or out to eat, but this is a good time for me because I'm at a party and right now I'm not in the middle of helping everybody. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. So here in about an hour, I'm going to be super busy and won't have time to get on. So hello, Miranda. As you're coming on, tell me, hey, where you're from. And uh, if you're watching this uh, later, Thank you for watching it, and uh, if you want to share it, that would be great. Hello, Sarah. Okay, I'm going to hand the camera over to my buddy here, and he is going to hold it for me because I forgot my tripod. Pod. So, okay. There you go. Hold it so they can see the, the cow here. All right, I've got my paint all laid out, and I've got a color that's just a little bit of a darker turquoise. This, this cow has been painted with the Laguna color apple barrel paint. And I've got my distressing brush and I'm just going to start with this darker turquoise. I'm going to drip dip and just get a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to, I'm just going to go all different directions because uh, on the faux barnwood technique one that I did, I only went in one direction because you wanted it to look like planks. But this one, we just want it to be all over distressed. You may not be able to see that color difference. It's just really light. So then I'm going to do the pewter gray. And I'm not washing my brush out in between. I'm just going color to color. And this doesn't take very long to do, as you can see. And then I'm using, this is color is called khaki. It's just a real light tan. Oh, and I got a little bit of black in there. It doesn't really matter because I'm doing the whole thing, all of these colors, but I got a black, khaki, pewter gray, uh, Tuscan teal, those are all the colors I'm using in white to distress. <sighs> They're on a vine, like with a curly, you know. We're discussing if watermelons have stems or not, in case you're wondering what we're talking about. <laughs> Just gonna add some white in here. A little more white than I wanted to, so I'm going to add some teal back over the top of it, and a little bit of black. It's kind of tricky if you get too much in one spot, then you're having to go back over it, which I'm going to go back over it with a little bit more of this Laguna, because you can see I've got a spot over here that has too much on it. So I'm just going to take the original base color and streak right over the top of it and it will kind of fade that out a little bit. And I might even take my brush just a little bit and add in some of this Laguna. And then I can go back and distress it in this area again so that it doesn't look funny because right now it looks too smooth. But after that, after I smooth that out, now I can take just a little bit of the gray or the tan and streak over it. Why did you not do that? I was dabbing it off on the tablecloth to make sure I don't get way too much. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait for that to dry to fix that spot. All right, and then she wanted a letter L on it, which I can go ahead and do because it looks okay down here. And I'm going to do it in the flamenco red. Oh, let me rinse that brush out. It's got turquoise on it. Red and turquoise look really good together. They complement one another. She was all about, like, not being all about your name. Okay. So, got that. I'm going to get a little bit more of this tan. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. Okay. So, there we have it. And I will be putting a bow right up here. So, I will show you guys a picture of that after I get it finished and get the uh, 
get it put on my door hanger on my door at home. So, anyways, hit, hit me back the camera here and I'll say goodbye. <laughs> I wasn't able to see your comments while my camera buddy was holding the camera, but uh, I will go back and read them later when I get home. I'm going to help these ladies finish up, and uh, I will post their pictures later on Facebook. So, thanks for joining me tonight. Oh, Victoria, stay, stay safe down there. I see you've got Hurricane Harvey in your area. Um, stay undercover. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.